executing system commands with Puppet. In this section, we learn how to execute arbitrary system commands with Puppet and we're going to schedule ground jobs with Puppet using exec for executing system commands. In this video, we are going to take a look at the exec resource type for executing system commands. Prerequisites for this video, video 1, installing Puppet, so VM1 should be running and you should be connected with SSH. So what actually is the exec resource type? It allows you to execute arbitrary system commands. But it should be used as a last resource if there is no other resource type available. Um, one of the reasons why this is a last resource is the command you specify with the exec is going to be executed on every Puppet run. So if you are scheduling a Puppet via cron or run the Puppet agent as a daemon, on every Puppet run the command is going to be executed. So it's always better to use a built-in resource type or one that comes with a module. But there are ways, as we are going to see, to circumvent executing the command on every Puppet run. And what are the important exec attributes? First of all, there's command. It's the, also the name var, so it defaults to the resource title. This is the command that's going to be executed. Then there's cwd, the current working directory. This is the working directory where the command is going to be executed. Then there's environment. It specifies environment variables. You can use an array to specify multiple variables. These variables are available when you execute the command. Then there's the user. This is the user that runs the command. And there's group. This is the group under which the command is run. Then there's path. This specifies the search path for commands. It accepts an array or a string with colon as the separator. Exit codes. Expected exit codes for the command. By default, the exec command is considered um, to be successful if the command returns zero. Then there's timeout. This is the maximum time it should take to run this command. The default is 300 seconds or 5 minutes. And there are different providers. There's POSIX, which basically uses the exec system call, so there's no shell environment available. Then there's shell which passes the command you're using through a shell. So you can use more advanced shell construct uh, like a pipe. And there's Windows, which is the default if you run the exec uh, type on Windows. So how can we circumvent to, uh, that the command gets executed on every Puppet run? First of all, there's creates. This looks for a file before executing command. If the file is there, it's going to skip the command. So it's easy to create the file with the command and as long as the file is there, the command is not going to be executed. Only if, only run the command if the command specified returns zero. And as the opposite of only if, unless. Only run the command if the command specified does not return zero. And finally there's refresh only. Only run this command when the dependent resources change. So this also requires subscribe. Let's look at a few examples of using the exec resource type. I'm already connected to VM1 with SSH. I'm going to open a root shell with sudo i. And let's create a puppet manifest called exec.pp. In the first example, we are going to use the exec resource type. Um, I'm going to set the title to an exec example. And I'm going to specify the command directly. And I'm going log I'm going to use logger with the facility kern.info. I would like to print a message. So what happens when we run the logger command with uh, dash p kern.info, it's going to print a message to var log messages. This is a nice way of testing the exec resource type. 
So every time this exec resource that gets executed, we see a message in the messages file. We only also have to specify the path so that Puppet can find the logger command. You can also use the full qualified uh, name uh, of the command. So you can specify slash bin uh, logger, but I'm using the path attribute. So, and I'm also specifying just to be sure the sbin directory. These are directories where Puppet will look for the command logger. And I'm also specifying an environment. Sorry, environment. And we set the message variable which we use in the path command, this one, dollar message. I'm setting the message variable to, this is the message. And what we're also going to test, we will, we are going to use the attribute only if, and just an example, we're using the grab command and we're grabbing for the user vagrant in etc password. Because there is a user vagrant in the etc password file, this command is going to be executed on every puppet run. We can also skip the only if attribute, then puppet is also going to execute the command on every puppet run. So the only if here is just for demonstration, we're going to change it in a few uh, seconds just to see how the only if attribute works. So puppet is only going to execute uh, the example command if the vagrant user is in etc password. So we can check this. We're going to grab for vagrant in etc password. So it's there, grep is going to return zero. So Puppet is going to execute our command on every Puppet run. So let's see if we have any syntax errors and if it works. I'm going to use the Puppet command with the apply phase and to specify the manifest we just created, exec.pp. And you can see the command executed success successfully when we now tail var log messages. So we are looking at the bottom of the messages file. And we can see here the message, Vagrant, this is the message. So Puppet executed our logger command successfully. When we run the Puppet apply once again, with exec.pp, it's going to execute the command again. And we look when we look at the messages file with tail, so once again at the bottom, you can see this is the message. This is from the second Puppet run and this is the first Puppet run we did. So let's modify. So Puppet is going to execute uh, the command on every Puppet run. So let's, ex uh, let's modify our manifest exec.pp. And now let's grab for a user does not exist. So for a user that does not exist in etc password, when we grab for does not exist in slash etc password, we do not get a response because there is no user does not exist in etc password. And when we see, uh, look at the return code of the last command, which is grab, we see uh, grab returned one. So when we now execute our exec.pp manifest with Puppet apply, nothing happens because Puppet is only executing the command if, the grab, if grab returns zero. When we take a look at exec.pp once again, this is the only if option, only if grab returns zero. In our case, the user does not exist is not an etc password and grab can't find it there. So grab is 
going to return 1 and Puppet is not going to execute our command. So now let's try um, refresh only. So I'm going to change exec.pp once again. I'm going to remove the only if option and I'm setting refresh only to true and we are going to subscribe because refresh only requires subscribe. This is going to execute the command only when, we, when it gets notified from another resource. So we're subscribing a file slash tmp file one. There's a comma missing. And of course we also have to specify the resource slash tmp file one. I'm going to make sure that this, that this is a normal file. I'm going to set angel to file. I'm also going to specify the content. I'm going to set it to content. So what happens now? Every time when the file resource is going to be changed, it notifies the exec resource type and the exec resource type subscribes to modifications of the file resource. So every time when the file changes, the exec, the command is going to be executed. So let's try this now. I'm going to use Puppet once again with the apply phase. I'm going to specify our exec.bp resource. On the first run, Puppet created the file slash tmp file one and it also executed our command. When we now run Puppet again, Puppet apply exec.bp because, the, because there is already a file slash tmp file one with the specified content, Puppet is not going to execute our command. But when we change the file, the content of the file slash tmp file one, I'm just going to delete the file, save and quit. So we change the content. On the next Puppet run, Puppet is going to change the content back and it's also going to notify the exec resource type and hopefully it's going to execute our command once again. So let's try this. Puppet apply exec.pp. As you can see, Puppet changed the content back and it also executed our command. As a last example, we are going to use creates. So I'm just deleting, I'm going to delete all the resources. Let's specify a new exec resource, this time using creates. The command we are going to execute is this time we specify the full path to the command. It's going to be slash bin touch. So we do not have to use the path attribute. And we're going to create, we're using the touch command to create the file slash tmp file one. Oh, there is already a file one. Let's call this file file two. And this command creates the file slash tmp file two. So what happens now? When we execute this manifest, Puppet is going to execute the command slash bin touch temp file two because there is no file slash tmp file two. But on subs uh, when we execute Puppet, e Puppet apply again, specifying this manifest, there is already a file slash tmp file two and Puppet is not going to execute the command. So let's save and quit. Once again, I'm just checking the syntax, it looks okay. Let's use Puppet again, the apply phase, and we specify exec.pp. So Puppet executed our command, and now there should be a file slash tmp file too. Yes, when we apply the manifest again, 
Puppet does not execute the command because first it checks if there is already a file slash tmp file2. When we remove the file, file2, yes, and run Puppet again, it executes the command. So let's take a look at exec.pp once again with the cut command. We're using create, so Puppet Monet only executes the command if the file slash team file 2 is missing. For further documentation about the exec resource type, please see the Puppet resource type documentation.